Hey there, this is uh, Dad. And this is um, JC, where we're gonna be the where we're gonna be reviewing the Alien vs Predator movie, a very bad movie. Well, that's your opinion. Uh, I think it started off very badly. Yeah. Uh, because uh, some basic things. I mean, the movie plot seemed rather suspenseful, but then basic things were missing. Things like they're in the middle of the Antarctic and you can't see their breath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about the laser that shoots the hole down 3,000 feet in the ice and it's got the wrong kind of uh, circles? It should have been a laser with straight lines, not circles like it was dug out by some kind of spinning machine or something. It made no sense to me. Well, let's start with the plot. Basically, it starts in a very sim it starts in space on a space station. After, well, in, in the future. Yeah, it's yes, the future. Nice that wonderful too. time in the past when everybody would seemingly have hoverboards and stuff. And yeah, the future computers. being, uh, what, uh, 2004? Oh, yes, and they always did 12 Jaws sequels or something of that sort. Yeah. What, and year, what, 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 year, what, what year is it now? Um, 2012 at the time of this video. So apparently, uh, we were a little behind the game in watching this video. We should have watched it a few years ago. Yeah, and of course, if we'd have watched it when this came out, you'd have been uh, four years old. It might be uh, not appropriate for a four-year-old. Yeah. yeah. So, let's start with the movie. So the movie, after that scene, in which we learn that something has appeared in the middle of the Arctic. And then it basically cuts to what I can only describe in the beginning as the Jurassic Park movie, where different characters are, well, killed? No. Not oh, killed. you mean about all the different experts. Yes, the different experts that they So the seen. evil corporation gathers up the different experts and sends them on an Arctic expedition. Including the guy who runs it, who's getting rather old. Yes. And He's also going to die. And he's asthmatic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that makes it tough. So it takes a while to get to the point where you actually see any blood at all in this movie. I was kind of surprised by that. That was quite low-key. Yeah, it was low-key. But then they get into this, you know, whole, like, Aztec pyramid under the Arctic combination of all the civilizations. Pretty crazy, crazy, in fact. Yeah. You know, and uh, I guess the uh, the uh, stone carvings of the uh, gun on an alien shoulder gave away the fact that, uh, you know, there's some extraterrestrial activity going on here, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think that was also in the title, Alien vs. Predator. Hmm, what is this going to be, a romantic comedy, maybe? Well, you know, it's kind of like snakes in a plane, you know, you just, you kind of know what's coming and you're ready for it. But it did kind of seem like uh, uh, Predator versus Human for quite a while. Indeed. That's until the alien came along. Yeah. So Honestly, the Predator in this movie just seemed rather, I should say Predators, stupid. Now, I understand they wanted to make this sort of a big game hunt, but to be quite honest, they took some very unnecessary risks. Like? Well, for example, they will basically let the aliens hatch on their own. And let's not forget about the part with the flashback where we see, oh, I don't know, a thousand aliens fighting about three or so. Yeah, so this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh, I mean, let's, let's just uh, think about this for a moment. You create this whole pyramid, and the whole whole design of it is to trap humans so they can be infected with the aliens, stuck to their face, and then uh, they can make more aliens so supposedly the predators can come in and have some kind of sporting contest where they defeat the aliens. But in this case, the aliens practically get away and infect the entire planet. So I guess the predators look at it like, well, we'll just get on our spaceship and take, take off. But yeah, in do case, the continent in the kingdom. That will solve everything, right? Except for the fact we just happen to forget, oh, I don't know, the alien mother who will breed some more. And, and that, they did that on purpose. What happens if you have a predator that is actually infected? 
Oh, I don't know. It gets the, uh, the end. Oh, spoiler alert. Although this has been full of spoilers. Make sure to write that in the description. Listen, if you haven't seen this since 2004, shame on you, shame on us for not seeing it much sooner than this. But uh, So there's no such thing as a spoiler alert in this case. It's a pretty old movie, huh? Just write, write that in the description on the title. Yeah. Yeah. So overall, let's, uh, you know, uh, first of all, I would have to say that the movie's strengths, uh, you know, we know its weaknesses, but, uh, you know, basic things like you're in the Antarctic and you can't see your breath. I mean, come on, give me a break. But... Some of the strengths are the actual leading character, uh, the woman who uh, played the leading character, was a pretty tough gal, if you ask me. She reminded me a lot of Ridley from the Alien movies. And you have to admit it, JC, I think you, uh, you really wanted to marry her. I think I know. He does, he wants to marry her. She's very tough, she's smart, all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, we need to work with predators, too. Work with predators, yeah. She had the mark, right? What's the mark all about? Um, I, I think it was sort of a tribal thing. Yeah, she was a warrior, so the uh, alien, or the predator, gave her a mark, and uh, that basically prevented her head from being chopped off later on in the film. So, good. so she got a special weapon, right? Yeah. I think it was like a uh, some kind of battle axe. Uh, yeah, thing in my body. In D&D terms, you're talking like, uh, you know, probably plus 15. Pretty good weapon to have, especially when you're fighting uh, dragons, vanished aliens with acid blood kind of stuff. Yeah. So any more strength? Strength? I mean, I thought there were suspenseful parts. You know, it did rather yeah. seem a little, uh, yeah, like, over contrived when you think about all the mazes and stuff that have to go on in this whole yeah, like pretty complex. Can you just simply drop the spikes and then? Oh wait, I forgot. It's a sporting event, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And um. I want to note something. What was it going to note? I don't know. They, they build up this whole suspense to the fact it's going to be alien and a predator, but anybody who's seen the movies, or even read the title, will know it's going to be an alien and a predator, and predators. So, it builds up... You know, we know the facts. It's in the title. Please don't build up suspense to something painfully obvious. I think one of the things that confused me is that basically the movie is taking place in present day, yet you think about the Alien movie, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, it's all way in the future, so I kind of expected the movie to be in the future and it was in present day. Present yeah, day. very odd. Yeah, a little odd to me too, so apparently this stuff's been going on a long time and we've been yeah. just missing it all. I mean, I haven't noticed anything going on here in Derby, have you? Uh, give me a minute. I gotta check the window to see if there's any aliens. Any any aliens out there? Um, uh, no. What about predators? Uh, no. I'm not there. So it looks like Wait, we're no, never mind. Not there. So I think uh, before we run out of hard drive space here on our video, we probably ought to give this movie a review. So uh, a rating. So uh, JC, why don't you go first on your uh, on your movie review rating on a scale of uh, one to ten? What would you give it? Um. Five, maybe. It's not the effects at most. It's not particularly bad. It has flaws, but it's not really excellent. It's 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 average. It's it's average. You know, I I would have to say that I, I'm pretty close to you in that rating there. I mean, uh, I think I, I'm gonna give it a little higher. I'm gonna give it a seven, and only because I had such low expectations of this one. I really expected to be terrible. And to be honest, you know, after I got over the first little, you know, missteps, I'll have to say it was a pretty entertaining movie. I found myself actually um, watching it and, and interested and, and wasn't trying to, like, leave and go, you know, do something else. So uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this is uh, Dad. And JT. Hi. And uh, we'll sign off for now. And, uh. I'm not sure what our next movie will be. Probably something in this series, since we haven't seen every single movie in the Alien I know. Slash Predator yeah. series. The sequel. Probably the sequel. So, alright, signing off. Bye! Bye.